Good evening. Yes, it's evening for a change. And those of you that have been following Willie's buyer renovation thing so far on uh, Living the Sky Life will know that this is Didi. This is the day De Niro and I are heading north to start actually doing the work. This is where we're going to find out if I've bitten off more than I can chew. I'm quite good at DIY, but uh, we will have to see how this goes. So, uh, wish us luck. So, we're now about halfway on our journey to do this week's job. And uh, we've stopped off at the Commando Memorial with De Niro for a wee stretch of the legs. Because, like I said, we are halfway and he probably wants to have a wee sniff about like he usually does. Uh, please don't pee on the wreaths, De Niro. The memorial is looking quite mean and moody in the twilight. It's actually getting dark quite quickly at the moment, but at least it's getting dark much later than it was last time we were here. Oh, there's De Niro looking all uh, noble. He's spotted something out there. I'm not sure what it is, but I don't think we'll let him off the lead to find out. What have you seen, mate? De Niro, what have you seen? It's a person. Ugh. People are not that interesting. There's a person walking up that hill. One thing that we've noticed about greyhounds is they never just seem to amble aimlessly. They always walk like they're on a mission to get somewhere, even if they don't actually know where that somewhere is. Uh, I think what he's hunting here is moles, because that is uh, molehills that he's digging about in. So I think De Niro has got the first whiff of a mole. And there's a last we look at the memorial before we continue up towards the Sky Bridge. I wonder what that looks like in the dark. Let's go and find out. We weren't planning on stopping on this little spin up the road, but uh, look at that. I know we've featured Aelin Donan Castle before, but we've never seen it looking quite that nice. That's all lit up, obviously, at night, and hopefully this wee phone is uh, doing a good job of capturing it, because it looks absolutely stunning. As we were parked right down by the water's edge and there was no one about, we thought we'd take the opportunity to have a wee shot with a drone, which is fine as long as I didn't lose sight of its lights. And believe me, having just got this thing, there was no way I was going to let it out of my sight. But with the footage that came back, it was definitely well worth it. What a cracking set of images we got. It is quite easy when you're driving on these roads to forget that there are hazards that you may not have when you're driving in the city. Like driving along and you see this big pair of eyes looking at you from the side of the road. Hello, Mr. Deer. In our scheduled adventure, this is day zero, and day zero is ending with me and De Niro in the van on Sky. So we'll have a night here, and then we'll head down to Willie and Sarah's bright and early first thing tomorrow morning. And then the hard work will really begin. So we'll enjoy tonight, because tomorrow is going to be quite a long, hard day, I think, but we should hopefully have a very productive one. We will keep you posted. Good morning. This is the start of what we're imaginatively going to call day one. We're just going to head down to William Sarah's and get ready to get started. Now that's not a bad view to wake up to, eh? You don't get many hotel rooms with views like that. I think it's safe to say we're definitely okay with the weather so far today. That can change very quickly, but for now it looks lovely. And thankfully there are no sheep, so De Niro can go for a wee walk without getting distracted. Not that he pays him the slightest bit of attention anyway. And there's Mabel the camper van with the Cullen Mountains in the background. This is truly a magical place. We say that a lot and we're going to keep saying it because it's going to keep being true. It's always interesting in these places. We're quite out of the way here, but look at those lines on that hill over there. That was run rigs where the local community would have crofted and farmed the land. Now that very probably ended with the highland clearances when the landowners figured out they could get more money for sheep than they could in rent from their tenants. So everybody was unceremoniously removed from places they may have lived like their whole life. Their family could have lived there for generations. Who were the people who lived here and who were the people who farmed this land? Where did they come from? Where did they go? Where did they come from? No, I'm not doing that song. And for De Niro and Jack Spaniels, it is playtime. De Niro wants to run and Jack wants to eat a stick. Is that a good stick, Jack? Is that your favourite stick of the day? De Niro is not interested in sticks, but he does like running about. Oh, De Niro. <laughs> That's a very cool cup of coffee. There you go. Hi. Oh, wow, he let you have it. De Niro wants in the shot. And this is the space that we are starting with. So this is going to be a bit of a challenge. I've never tried anything on quite this scale before, but I'm sure between the three of us we'll get it done with help from De Niro and the Jack. Who has come back with a stick. You've got to throw the stick for him and then he eats it. Yeah, this is how you make a two-day job last five days by taking three days to set up the camera. Come on, Willie, we've got work to do. <laughs> 
So De Niro has had a bit of a run about and now he is supervising from the sunshine at the door. It's beginning to look a tiny bit like a floor. And once again, De Niro is not differentiating between biscuits because Sarah has got a biscuit and De Niro thinks by rights and by law that biscuit should be his. What? Like where? <laughs> right, so about there. Just put another one there. Okay. Hey, wait, 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 I've got to film you. I wish I'd not worn the slide. This is, this is stunningly indecisive television. De Niro has taken supervising to a whole new level. You gonna lift your chin and actually say hello, De Niro? No. Nah. Working absolutely flat out on this job. As you can see there, he is uh, not really engaging with the helping. Thanks, De Niro. And Jack is dying to help if people will throw him a bit of wood. Okay, this is not a build blog because Willie and Sarah will be doing that, but this is my little thing of, I am knackered, that was such hard work, but the floor is about halfway done. That's uh, Willie's end of the buyer floored and almost finished, apart from that bit there, and then we start on Sarah's bit. So the flooring will hopefully get done today, we have a schedule. D De Niro has made himself quite at home in the corner, he's really uh, gone for a wander a couple of times when food was getting prepared, apart from that, he's just staying there having a wee sleep. Jack is still supervising the saw because he knows that's where the great big stick get cut into smaller sticks and uh, he does like a stick as much as De Niro likes a biscuit. And while there's banging and crashing coming from the buyer that you'll be able to see on the uh, Living the Sky Life video, here is De Niro trying to pretend that he's interested in a stick. Oh, he's got a stick! De Niro has stolen Jack's bit of wood. Now there's going to be fireworks. I am definitely getting too old for all this manual labour, so I've asked De Niro if I could have a wee shot in his bed. He doesn't seem to mind. And that is day one done. The floor we've laid today will last for a long time. Jack is looking alert because my foot is next to his piece of wood. <laughs> De Niro is not interested in such tomfoolery, but Jack does enjoy chasing a bit of wood. And round here, there are lots of bits of wood. Day two has started the same way that day one finished. De Niro is in his alfresco bed, and Jack is saying, go and throw that little bit of wood for me. Go on, throw it, throw it, throw it. Meanwhile, in the conversion, today we'll be undoing what we did yesterday for reasons that you will see if you watch the Living the Sky Life video. Because I'm not going to embarrass Willie here. I mean, it's me. I'm not going to embarrass him. You mean again? Again. Jack wants to play, De Niro wants a drink, and then we'll probably go for another wee lie down because it's hard work doing nothing. And after yesterday's little rehearsal of putting the floor down, today we're doing it for real. So I was worried it was getting a bit hot and sunny for De Niro, so I moved his bed into the shade with a nice big bowl of water. So what do you think the big idiot did? He went back to lie in the sun. But De Niro doesn't usually show any interest in sheep, and here on Sky, the sheep are returning the favour. They're outside the fence, and they're not looking at him, and he's not looking at them. Day three started with a flying visit from an eagle, get it, and a flying visit to Portree. And as usual with these jobs, you never order enough stuff or you order far too much. We have not ordered enough, so we are here to buy more. A nice wee drive to Portree. Only problem being, I wanted to stop every two minutes to take photographs or put the drone up, but I couldn't because we've got work to do. And this is what you call special delivery. That's a very, very precious floorboard there, so it's getting brought hand carried by uh, by forklift. Thank you. So that's a few little extra bits of wood there. As you can see, there's not very many, uh, but then what you can't see is what's up there and what's over there. Yeah, we've got quite a lot of wood here. It's a major rethink of the plan, but it's going to make it much stronger and much longer lasting, hopefully. Right. That is Mabel fully loaded like she's never been loaded before and we're now going to drive through all of the stunning scenery and there's Willie. Hi Willie! We're going to drive through all of the stunning scenery in this beautiful weather and not be able to look at any of it because we have to get back and get on with this job. And there's the Coolin Mountains looking all impressive but we can't stop to look at those. We have to get back to get on with the job. All oh, right, so one sneaky wee stop to look at the Coolins. How impressive are they? I will never ever get bored of looking at these. Look at that, that is uh, quite impressive. But anyway, got to get going on with the job, as I keep saying. We've got to get this job finished and then I can do a bit of sightseeing. And believe me, I want to get this job finished more than anyone. There's not even any time to go and look at those really cool wee old fishing boats down there. Unless I stop here and let this guy 
come down the hill. So I'll pretend that I'm stopping at him come down the hill, but what I'm actually stopping for is to have a wee look at those amazing wee old derelict boats. We must get a closer look at those one day. It's time to do battle with more wood. Fortunately, I have my trusty circular saw. We are going to get through this in no time, I hope. Right, that was the last two days' efforts. Most of a floor, some of it done twice. Oh, a political incident here as De Niro has just snaffled Jack's little toy. As you can see, Jack is not even remotely bothered. He'd rather play with a block of wood than a stuffed whatever it is. That Jack Spaniels is clearly a bad influence because after three days of not showing any interest, De Niro is now eating a stick. Jack, this is all your fault. You've turned my dog into some country bumpkin. Tell me, Mr Spaniels, what have you got against sticks? And why have you recruited my greyhound into your evil cult of stick eaters? I know we're up here to work, but it is nice to get a wee escape from time to time, so uh, this is the first chance we've had for De Niro and me to go for a wee walk. We're going to go for a wee explore and just a wee uh, breath of fresh air. There's a lot of fresh air up here, but uh, we've been working hard, so we deserve a wee break. And it is like nine o'clock at night, so time to finish anyway. Will the big brave greyhound make it through the massive river? Well, I think he's going to have to because uh, after he's had a good sniff, obviously, he might make it through the big river. Come on, De Niro. De Niro really isn't even remotely interested in sheep. The sheep appear to be more interested in De Niro. Hello, girls, how are you? Uh, how are you? Get it? You? <laughs> Yep, as you can see, De Niro is chasing the sheep and they're all running away in terror, except neither of those things are happening. As you know, we love a good mystery, and this is like the middle of nowhere, and there's an old ruined house over there, and it's all a bit derelict. And then there's this super duper shiny thing sticking out of the ground. I wonder what that is. No idea. Anybody got any idea, let us know. Yes, De Niro definitely deserves some extra good boy points for his complete lack of interest in the sheep. It's getting on for lambing season here and the farmers are obviously very concerned about dogs running about loose so De Niro is not running about and not loose and the sheep up there seem to realise that he is no threat. Well, that was a nice wee walk but I think it's time to head back to the Skylife cottage because it's getting a bit dark and I don't fancy falling down a big hole or getting lost. De Niro has got ever so slightly muddy paws. This is uh, my fault for which I will get in trouble from his mummy. And as it starts to get dark, you can tell what a long and uh, hard day this has been because I have not noticed until now I'm wearing my sunglasses and have been all day. So I thought it was a bit dark in the buyer. Uh, that's because I've been wearing these. And today will be another day of construction, but this time there'll be some electrics and hopefully some plasterboarding if we get far enough ahead of the schedule. Yeah. One spirit level, spirited, handed over in a spirited fashion. What the wrong way? Oh! How, so how much easier are those screws? A lot. Yeah. Excellent. We'll bleep that bit out. That went very deep. That was meant to do that. So this is day, I don't know, 800 or something of this build and De Niro has given up even trying to make it into his bed. He's just enjoying lying in the sunshine. I wish he was in here working and I was out there lying in the sunshine with a beer. And today I promised myself that once I got the electric sorted out in the buyer, I was going to have a wee fly with my drone. So that is exactly what I did. A wee look around from on high. Uh, okay, there's a sight we thought we would never see. That is a spaniel and a greyhound, although the spaniel does appear to be ignoring the greyhound and uh, getting jiggy with its bed. Another long day, another late finish, but a really pretty sky to cap it all off. I knew the last day was going to be quite a busy one before we had to head off for home, but uh, I saw some horses walking about, so I thought before I did any work, I was going to have a wee look at the horses. Well, people always say the most dangerous thing about DIY jobs are things like power tools and electricity. That's not true. The most dangerous thing is definitely plasterboard. It's tried to kill Willie and I yesterday, and it tried to kill Sarah today. Plasterboard is the devil's work. Is it the plasterboard though, or is it the people using the plasterboard? Uh, it's, plas it's, a pla it's not nothing to do with competence, it's definitely the plasterboard. There's lots to do with incompetence. Yeah, probably. 
OK, so there's still quite a lot to be done, but we have come so far in the last week. This has been a great shift. That's my stint in the Skylife buyer done, and I'm talking very slowly because I keep getting it wrong because I'm quite tired. It's been a great experience for three reasons. One, it's been good to hang out with Willie and Sarah and have a bit of a laugh. Two, it's been good to be part of an amazing project like this. And three, it has been really good to see De Niro turn into a dog. He's been playing with Jack Spaniels, he's been running about, he's been chasing sticks, and he's been doing things that dogs do, but racing greyhounds tend not to. So I think he's had a good holiday, and I think he's going to go home and sleep for a week, as indeed am I. Well, that was the plan anyway. I quite fancied a quiet weekend, but we had booked a gig in Glasgow and then on Sunday I was going to go and do a 10k run. So the second part of this wee video is uh, is that. We go to Glasgow and then I go for a run. You get to see my wonderful, wonderful t-shirt. After being in the peace and quiet of Sky for a week, it was a bit of a culture shock to find ourselves in the middle of Glasgow. We are down to see a band called Blue October, and if you've never heard of them, you should go and check them out. They are really good. So Bex and I let her hair down a bit. Had a bit of a sing-along, but obviously I couldn't overdo it because I'm an athlete and I had a run the next day. That and the fact that it was about an hour and a half drive from Glasgow to Calendar, which is near where the run was. So we thought we'd better take it easy, enjoy the gig, but not overdo it. But I did go to Weatherspoons and I did have one or two of these. This is uh, quite a posh part of Glasgow. As you can see, there are some very, very nice big houses here. And there, lowering the tone, is Mabel. And this is where we camped last night. That's a good thing about a camper van. You can camp anywhere. We're not quite sure what hotel in this area would cost, but it's definitely going to be more than nothing, which is what Mabel cost. And if we come round to the front of Mabel, we will see that De Niro is having uh, Oh, he's gone. De Niro's gone. De Niro has had his breakfast. Scintillating television. As you can see, I'm wearing some ridiculous clothes, which means today is a time for running. We are going to do the Hidden Glen 10k, which is 10k, which is half up a hill and half down again. It's not going to be a lot of fun, but hey-ho. De Niro thinks it's time to go back to bed, but we are going for a drive. We're heading to Calendar. It's a heavy metal coffee machine. Dum, 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 dum. After our coffee stop in Calendar, it wasn't very far to the start line, but a lot of it was on a really nice single track road that I wish I'd filmed because it was quite exciting. And after a very, very exciting drive along that windy, twisty little road with thousands of cars coming this way and one old woman trying to go the other way, we have made it. This is the starting point for today's 10k run. Woo, go me. I'd like to say how much I'm looking forward to this. I'd like to, but I can't. There's Bex and De Niro, neither of whom are keen on running today, although De Niro looks like he'd quite like to go and have a wee explore, so let's go and see the race village, as they call it. Guessing this is some sort of petting zoo thing with a sheep and a lamb, but they must be bloody terrified. There's thousands of people about, loads of dogs, and I don't imagine they are very happy. When people get near, the mummy sheep tries to protect the little baby lamb. They shouldn't be here. That that can't be right. So that is uh, quite a lot of cars that have come up that one little road. And in an hour and a half's time, they'll all be going back again. Well, the bad news is it's just started raining. But the good news is there's blue sky and sunshine over there. So hopefully that is going to come over here. Up in the race village, there are various food stalls and a big coffee stall, which looks quite nice. And there's also this big open fire. So I think I might know where Bex is going to spend the next hour while I'm out slogging my guts out up down that big hill. Rock's about uh, fist sized, some of it's a bit loose, so please just be careful. Yeah, we're uh, almost ready to go. Everybody is doing a warm up except me because what my luck, I can fall over and hurt myself. And start to twist your shoulders, that's it. They're looking great, looking brilliant. Okay, thank you very much. One more time for a warm up, Wendy. Yeah, thanks very much, warm up Wendy. Can we get on with it now? I am all ready to go, and by go, I mean go home, but I suppose I better run. And they're off and running. Let's give them a cheer, supporters. Come on, let's get behind them. This is the team for this event. There's a one more Hinwell 10K. This is always the worst bit heading down to the start. I, uh, I don't know. And there's Bex, come to cheer me on before she no doubt goes and finds herself a cup of coffee. And this is a point where all the training comes to fruition. That was if I'd done any training, which I hadn't. Right, we're off. I hate running. I'll uh, see you guys at the top of the hill. Yeah, we're about a third of the way through the race. And hopefully about a third of the way up this great big hill. Really looking forward to the downhill bit on the way back. When I signed up for this race, I had thoughts of things like fitness and training, but none of that happened and I was suffering now. Well done, guys! The have resurfaced the track with all this big lumps of rubble and it makes it really, really unpleasant to run on. That is uh, halfway and it's still going uphill. I feel cheated. Except I don't because I've done this before and I know exactly what it's like. Ah, 
and that is us almost at the top turning point and then downhill. And thank you very much, sir. No problem. I'm glad to see you. Thank you. So that was a turning point. Psychologically, we're halfway there. And we are off back on the downhill. This is uh, going to be interesting because of the really, really road surface. So uh, we'll do our best. We'll get eventually. We're over halfway there. So it's uh, worst case. I just walk the rest of the way home. Definitely downhill. But I've got to watch because it's really uneven and, uh, as I said before, unpleasant to run on. But there we are. 6k done, 4 to go. Woo! The two types of hill, down is definitely my favourite. And yay, that's the last one of those that I'm going to see this year. And uh, the way I feel right now, possibly ever. Downhill, finish, yay! And you get here, you can hear the finish. You still can't see it because it's still half a kilometre away. On the way up, I dislike this running surface. On the way down, I'm absolutely hating it. It's just waiting to eat your ankle. I may have spent a lot of time whining about how much I dislike running, but this is a good bit. You get around the corner and there's a finish line right in front of you, and you cross the finish line and Doogie, the compere, shouts out your name, and then there's Bex. Hi Bex, wait for the camera. And we have made it to the end. No idea how long that took, don't actually care. And this is what we do it for. Yay! I appear to have De Niro's undivided attention. I have got no idea why. 